Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to Cuphead. And we have seven coins to our name. That should get us some good stuff over here. So, let's see here. Okay, so I think we can buy the last shot type and also a charm. So, let's go ahead and buy Chaser. And so, yeah, now it's down to just charms. Like I said, I'm not sure I'm going to be using any of these just because the smoke dash is that good, but we will go ahead and buy these. Now that one though, the coffee, I have heard that that one's actually really good for flight levels since things like parry sugar aren't really going to help there. So that one might be worthwhile. The smoke dash isn't going to do anything for me in a flying level, but right now we're out of coins. Also, while it's on my mind, there is one thing I did want to show real quick, something that a lot of people told me in the comments last time, that I don't think this would have occurred to me. So like, is there anything that's really supposed to inform you of this? It doesn't really look like it. But apparently... Yeah, you can duck under the larger ducks. Yes, I get it, it's a pun and everything, but it's not particularly obvious. Apparently this was shown off by the devs in promotional footage, but I never saw that. And I also never saw it on any of the Let's Plays that I watched of this game, so... Yeah. I would not have known about that, it would not have occurred to me. I don't particularly know if it makes things any easier, but it does go with the feeling that you can actually do everything in this game without relying on shot types or charms. So that's good to know, you don't have to use the smoke dash there. Hey, I heard you managed to parry four times in a row. I bet you're so proud you could bust. Here's a coin to reward your persistence, boys. Don't spend it all in one place now. Oh, well, okay. Thanks. So, yeah, I guess I did that parrying for cards over on the, uh, the circus level against the pink balloons. Well, that's nice. So, yeah, we've put off this boss battle as long as we can. It's time for Durgan vs. Durgan. I have been told that this fight is the hardest in the game, but it's another of those, like Wally Warbles, where watching other people do this, it didn't really look that bad. Of course, we know how that went as far as assuming that for Wally Warbles. I am also going to switch to the Lobber. This is a fight where I've been told this is a good thing to have. So, charge and Lobber. We'll go with that. Okay, so, Grim Matchstick in Fiery Frolic. Surprising no one, my favorite boss design in the game. Okay, so it's the hypnotic rings that you have to parry. Which, that may actually be a bit tricky. I'm not sure if there are other chances to parry things in this fight. But we've gotten two so far. Okay, tail attack, and the fireballs. I do remember a lot about this fight because, again, it's unsurprisingly my favorite one. Okay, that's the three parries. This may have been a bad idea. Okay, good. I had a cloud to land on. Okay, I think this is where having the lob shot is supposed to be good. During a lot of this one, you do kind of have to keep an eye on where all the fires are going down there. At this point, I think we can switch back to charge. So those fire bubbles, you do not want to actually hit those. Okay, I did take damage there. Pretty good for a first try, though. Okay, forgot about that move. Okay, yeah. Dealing with the clouds, 
trying to make jumps like that, that's where the problem lies. One, two, three, you'd b b b better flee. So, yeah, actually for a first attempt, we got pretty close. The first two phases aren't really that troublesome, though getting the three parries, that's kind of tricky. It's one of those where there is a lot to keep track of, but for the most part, it is pretty simple. I had to say it. Well, let's go ahead and get a fail quote. Don't m m misunderstand my flames. I'm just meant fun and games. Uh, that was English in there somewhere, I'm sure. Whoops. A little adrenaline fueled. So far, I'm enjoying this fight. Uh, I don't know why I was expecting that to go down first. Okay, they can go either direction. So, we'll be mindful of that. I just really love his animations. Okay, yeah, I didn't really have a good opportunity for either of those strings of rings. Okay, I'm starting to see where the problems in this fight come up. It's largely the platforming. You have to be very careful in judging where exactly your dashes are going to go. I've got in the way of parrying there. It does kind of become a balancing act, because like I said, I don't know that there's anything else you can actually parry. So I don't want to end this phase of the fight too early. Okay, got my three parries. Go ahead and get this in. And to the lobber. Suffice to say, I'm not usually a fan of lob shot type attacks. Those who have seen my Battle Network LPs, they probably know this. Like, I never really use things like Mini Bomb all that much. Uh, let's get the fail quote. It's just something about arcing attacks. I just don't really like trying to figure out the range of them. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you in the hot seat. Same sort of thing as like Castlevania games. I don't really tend to like the axe. Weapons like that, though, they do have their moments. And due to his positioning in that second phase, it does actually seem like a pretty good weapon to use against Grimm. Come on, hypnotize me. There we go. Also, come to think of it, I haven't done a boss fight in a while, so I need to remember that I do still need to hit with another EX attack. 
because basically you need credit for striking with and consuming a total of six cards, and a single super, that's just five. Okay, so that got him through that phase pretty quickly. I didn't even see that hit. Yeah, you really do not want to hit those fire orbs. It's why I feel like Chaser in this fight would be a bad idea. It tends to have a nasty habit of homing in on attacks you don't really want it to do so. Okay, well we won, but we took two points of damage. But yeah, if you hit those little fire bubbles he sends out, those cause extra attacks, so you really don't want that happening. I know there's a later fight, too, where the chaser seems like a really bad idea, because it goes after part of the boss that takes no damage. So, A-, minus, we can do better. At the very least, we were fast enough. But we have a bridge, and we have a soul contract. It's one where I don't feel like I'm giving the lobber enough credit. It actually is really good here. I didn't really think it would be good in the final phase of the fight, though. Got greedy there. And hit the wrong button, too. Almost didn't see that tail. I heard the cue for it, but I didn't quite see where it was at the time. Missed the parry. I'm surprised I actually caught that one. Didn't dash in time. Good day for a well battle. Here goes. Okay, already got all three parries. Don't fall in the pit, don't fall in the pit, thank you. I got really greedy going for an extra parry there. That is entirely my fault. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't nearly in range for that. I think I got through the phase too quickly. I don't think there's anything I can do for extra parries. That is the main problem with this fight. Okay, if I don't hit him with too many charge shots at the beginning, I feel like he stays in this phase a bit longer. Which is probably good for me. Okay, wow. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I still just love that face he makes at the start of the fight. Okay, three parries done.
Now see, this is what I was expecting you to do last time, but then you went for the hypnosis again. Or whatever you want to call those rings from your eyes. Okay. Lob shot time. And I got blasted backwards off the cloud. <laughs> Here's a real high oh. I didn't have enough room to do that. Okay, plenty of parries. Go ahead and get in a super. Yeah. I did not have a lot of space to work with there. Gotta be careful of the flames, gotta be careful of not blasting myself backwards off the clouds. And not doing that! This fight doesn't really feel that frustrating to me. Am I just giving it credit because I like Grimm? I don't know. Nah, missed that last parry. That would have been really nice if I could have pulled that off. Well, now the clouds are just very in the way. And now they're not. <laughs> During this phase, I find myself paying more attention to the flames than what's actually going on up top. Not that it helped, apparently. And I noticed that the tower spinning in the background, it's doing something that we saw in an earlier stage, the fight against Jimmy the Great, where I think they used an actual model for this one. Landed a little lower than I hoped to. So yeah, I have to wonder if the people saying I'd have a hard time with this one meant just the fight in general, or if they specifically meant going for a no damage A+. Because, I will admit, that part is getting a bit tricky. It still feels very doable, though. I definitely say I've been through more difficult fights in the game. It's easy to underestimate just where all those fires are going. As if by illustration. A brawl is surely brewing. You're up.
Okay, if we were fast enough, I think we got it. Switching to charge shot during the final phase, I think, did the trick. But I'm a bit worried about speed. Oh, we were fine. And so there we go, perfect score. So, yeah, this one overall didn't really feel that bad. Most of the trouble was definitely the cloud platforms being a little bit inconsistent here and there. I think I've heard that there's a coin around here somewhere, but it might be the kind that I have to leave first. So, let's go ahead and do this. And for those wondering, yes, it is the same song. Looks like I might have underestimated you, Cupface. He gave it to them debtors, but good. Going over to the next island. Lots of fun times waiting for you there. <laughs> so let's go ahead and register that we've gotten to aisle three. The little mugs have some fight in them. I'll say that much. They're making mincemeat out of them debtors. You see, I knew there was something special about those fellas. Well, don't be too sure just yet, boss. I think there's something fishy about those two. Don't blow your wig, Dice. If those two little things try anything, I'll be waiting. Okay, so we have officially made it to aisle three, but I want to go back and see if I can find that coin. I was told that it was somewhere in this area. Yeah, there we go. So if there's any more than that, I don't know, but that was the one I was told about. But with that, we're just going to go back over here. And this is where we're going to call it for now. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. That fight actually felt really fun, I enjoyed myself.